go. It's Kern hosting Bremen. Kern at plus 145. Bremen plus 180. I was surprised with the under over here being at two and a half. I thought it would have been two. Uh, Kern don't score goals. Bremen don't let them in. And the under two and a half is at minus 118. I was also quite shocked that both of them are under or over one and a half team totals. Stinch, I've got this as the draw at plus 245. I'm not splitting these. I've got nil nil, one one all day. Yeah, I think there's every chance that this could uh, finish in a draw given the expectation of it being a, a low scoring game. Uh, Cologne nearly burgled a win at uh, Hoffenheim uh, last weekend, but they, they created next to nothing going forward. Which none of us, uh, none of us, surprised by at all. Uh, Bremen actually lost uh, surprisingly at home to Heidenheim, but Heidenheim are one of those teams that can uh, cause uh, an upset because they do play with um, so much offensive um, freedom. Um, but before that, Bremen had been had been good this year. Um, they obviously went to Bayern and won. Although everybody's beating Bayern, so maybe maybe it's not that impressive anymore. But, uh, yeah, I'd be in agreement with you. I think it's got the makings of a tight game. I can understand the line at two and a half. You know, this is Bundesliga. We were talking earlier in the season that the line being should be three. So, to, to move half a goal uh, on average uh, in an average Bundesliga game, I, I think, is uh, understandable. But... Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't see it being open and expansive. You know, Cologne need need the points there at the bottom of the of the league. But as we know, they're struggling to create anything in front of goal. They are the lowest scorers in the league with just 15 goals from from 21 games. Um, so yeah, I'm 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 going to take the unders because despite the fact that Cologne haven't been scoring, they haven't actually been conceding many either. either. Um, 11 of the last 12 have gone under 2.5 goals. So uh, I think I took this under 2.5 at minus 105. It's now minus 118. Probably would leave it at minus 118. Um, and then, yeah, if, if you still wanted to get involved, maybe Bremen on the handicap would be the way to go. I don't think there's anyone out there that's back in uh, Cologne at minus 125 as a favourite. So we've seen, you know, we've seen Bremen able to cause upsets as the underdogs and maybe they, that would be the, the way way to go if you didn't want to take the unders anymore. This was Saturday morning, Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, Saturday afternoon. Then I would ha I'll be with Bremen, draw no bet. I would be, I'd be maybe even push it a bit further and say Bremen plus 0.25 at maybe minus 130. But on a Friday night, no, I'm not going against it, Alex. Too many good sides travel on a Friday night and come away with very, very little, if not nothing but I cannot go with a home side. So I have actually gone with the draw. Yeah, the value is on Bremen, 1,000%. Uh, uh, there is no way we're back in Köln, even though they are uh, um, unbeaten in their last three games. But uh, they, they were so lucky against uh, Hoffenheim. One shot on target, one goal. They were so lucky against uh, uh, Wolfsburg on the road. Again, the same, uh, the same outcome. Um, on the other side, Werder Bremen uh, pulled off the upset, uh, beating uh, Bayer uh, uh, two, two games ago on the road, and also Mainz on the road 1-0. Uh, they are very organized at the back. Köln will have difficult times to, to, to break them uh, and score. I think that uh, you guys are on point with that. I, I can see a 1-1 correct score with some, I don't know, fish and chips money or mcdonald's money or whatever i'm not using uh, right you can hear that i'm not using beer money anymore i'm i'm using mcdonald's money <laughs> but that's still more than the average income for an household because you've switched your 25 beers for 25 Big Macs. Um, <laughs> do you think, boys, do we think that draw half-time is probably the way to go here with, with a lot of confidence because Kern don't want to go 1-0 down. Kern will have the ball the majority of the first half. But Bremen, as Alex says, and he, I thought I was looking for a camera like that thinking he was reading my notes because Bremen are organised and they're patient. Uh, I, I, I also think that uh, draw at halftime, if you are going uh, with that, uh, minus 110 for under one goal at halftime, I would go with that. So yeah, I don't two. see them I don't see them risk a lot in the first half. We might see a, a goalless draw at halftime. So 
Um, but yeah, maybe maybe we might see a goal. This is why I'm going under one Asian total. So in case of one goal, you will take your money back uh, rather than go at halftime with a draw. OK, uh, let's have a little look at the official picks of Friday night. Remember, it's Team A, Team B. Don't get swayed. Don't let your heart rule your head. For me, draw at plus 245. And for Stinch, it's under two and a half goals at minus 118. Bringing in that nil-nil and 1-1. One, one. Okay. <laughs>